In this video, I talk to Dan Norton of Parent Pacifier, and we talk about starting a brand while raising a newborn. We talk about how a strong support system can carry you through the toughest of times, and we talk about the balance between being an involved father and husband while growing your brand coming right up. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jonathan and I host a local weekly meetup group with new dads. I'm heavily involved online with dad communities. And on this channel, I curate the best practices and best content to help new dads live inspired lives. So if you wouldn't mind, comment below as a fun get to know you thing, where your hometown is, where you're from. And while you do that, we're gonna just jump right in. Hey, I'm Dan and uh, I run a channel and brand called Parent Pacifier where my wife Amanda and I help save you time and headaches with baby product reviews and parenting tip video. We specifically want to speak to you expecting parents, new parents that want to know like what works, what's out there to save that time, especially if you're exhausted and tired or completely overwhelmed. That's awesome, Dan. Thanks a lot. And what inspired you to like start this YouTube thing and this website thing? I mean, shoot, you're like barely trying to get sleep, you know? And so like, what's the motivation behind everything? It's, it started years ago. I, like I'm a filmmaker, a video editor by trade, and I've always wanted to build my own brand, build my own business where I could help people using video. Um, and I couldn't figure that out. It took a long time listening to guys like Pat Flynn or John Lee Dumas on podcasts. And then I got introduced to this whole world of YouTube through Roberto Blake, Sean Cannell, Nick Nimmin, mm -hmm. Brian G. John, like all these different guys I started listening to. And I'm like, I want to start something. I want to build a brand that helps people. I want to do YouTube, right? I, I didn't realize you could make a living off of YouTube mm -hmm. um, and, and make a brand that you can be out there and change the world, help people reach the world with your message, right? So and try to figure that out. And my wife got pregnant in December. We didn't plan at all right, to do this. We were hoping like, man, we were going to wait five years. And uh, and it was this surprise phone call that I got while I was at work. You know, we're like not prepared. We're not ready. And I mean, no one really is, I think, even if you're trying, like once you kind of hit it, right? And so we're going through all the stages, like figuring out a registry, figuring out what we're going to buy. And we're like, man, this is so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And once our son was born last year, um, we were relying on YouTube for everything, you know, mm. like, and, and different things. So we're sitting there looking at YouTube and I'm like, I could, I have all of these questions, right? <laughs> yeah. I could answer these questions in videos. And a lot of these videos that are out there, you know, they're good content, but some of them are just long, right? Mm -hmm. Or you're trying to find that one thing mm -hmm. in a very long video instead of very specific things. And I'm like, man, or I could just come along mm -hmm. and give, our voice, our answers to these same questions for people who are just like us, right? In that yeah. moment. And so after those first three months, you know, in, in November, I was talking to Amanda and I'm like, Hey, I think we can start a YouTube channel answering our own questions mm -hmm. and help other new parents just like us. Cause there's gotta be more people asking these questions. Yes. So mm -hmm. we decided to launch January 1st, recorded a bunch of videos in December, which was already hard enough to do. It's mm -hmm. the you know holiday season. Mm -hmm. We both have jobs. Uh, we're both volunteers at our church and our youth ministry. So it's not like just Sunday morning service. Like we have Wednesday nights and we're about to go to camp with our students. Nice. So it's like such a busy time. And I'm like, Hey, let's just start an online business and brand. Like what a mm -hmm. great time to do it, but there's no more motivating time. And I know, you know, this Jonathan, like there's yeah. no more motivating time than being a parent and like just wanting to get out and, and just doing something right. Building a future for your family, especially as a dad. Yeah. Right. Totally. Like you, you want, you know, you have that responsibility of being the protector, the one that is responsible to grow your family. I mean, you know, both of you are, but it's like, as a dad, there's that mindset of like, this is like what I need to do and I need That's to make right. a change. And, That's right. and maybe even before that, I wanted to do this stuff, but I never had that motivation of this needs to happen now. That's if right. I don't take action now, it'll never happen. That's so, right. That's why we're like, let's just start January 1st, 2018 is going to be a different year than 2017, 16, 15, right? Like these, we are going to make a change and it's going to become part of our life. Like what did life look like before? You know, like what did you guys have to give up? Um, because I, I mean, as a YouTube creator, like I totally get that. And then two, um, you know, just how do you stay sane with, cause you have a job, you have a marriage to nurture and grow and now you have a kid. So that's like three things. So something's got to give, right? Like what, so could you hit on those things? Yeah. Like before I thought I was busy, right? Like, I mean, I work 
a crazy job. Like I worked all different hours. Mm -hmm. Um, my wife is a social worker and Mm -hmm. you know, so her work is stressful, right? It's, it's Mm -hmm. busy. Um, so we had those things (laughs) that were going on, but I sat and I'm like, I want to build something. I want to do something but just never had that motivate. Like I've had the motivation, but didn't have the drive, the push of like mm. something needs to happen now. Totally. Um, yeah. And so now once we have him and life, life changes <laughs> um, and, and you got to sacrifice, got to sacrifice our, you know, TV time, right. Or, right. or time where we're just chilling, right. That, mm-hmm. that we could do may, you know, maybe some friends that want to hang out, we don't get as much opportunities to hang out with them. Mm. Uh, we look forward to those opportunities when we do have them. Right. Cause it's kind of okay. like that relief moment of like, yeah, mm. finally, could get a breath i don't have to change a diaper yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah um that those are fun but but yeah building a channel and being a dad at the same time man it's it's crazy but so rewarding mm-hmm. right because I, I know what i'm doing it's it's youtube is a long game mm-hmm. and building a brand is a long game it's not like i'm expecting like success immediately mm-hmm and for life to be changed immediately life Mm -hmm. has changed because now I'm taking care of him, but also doing videos at the same Mm -hmm. time. We're going to camp on Monday Mm -hmm. this week coming up and it's in Pennsylvania with our, you know, teenagers. It'll be our first five days away from our son. It's kind of crazy. It's going to be with both grandparents, Mm -hmm. Amanda's parents uh, at the beginning of the week, my parents at the end of the week. Um, And then we'll come back to him on Fridays. It's kind of crazy that, you know, but, we're, we're kind of looking forward to, you know, not changing diapers for a week, but I know yeah. we're going to be missing them the second we, we leave. Mm-hmm. Um, but this week I shot, I shot a video. I was like, Oh, we could use this for Thursday. I was like going to start editing it, but I'm like, you know what? I need to stop. I need to get sleep mm-hmm. and I need to be there for mm-hmm. Amanda. Mm-hmm. And we just didn't get a Thursday video. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's, mm-hmm. it's not my preference, right? Mm-hmm. I want to be consistent there, but at some point I had to say, yeah, eh you know what, this kind of gives me a break. I could edit tonight, right after this. I could start mm-hmm. editing that video and yeah. have it scheduled to go out next week while we're away, right? Mm-hmm. I need some videos out for that week. I can't go too long. Yeah. But this, this was like, I would say, one of the examples of where it kind of something had to give and I needed to, you know, I got it shot and I know, I know it's done, but instead of editing and spending, you know, the next two hours loading the footage, editing it, uploading it, putting all the tags and all that mm-hmm. stuff on, I was like, you know what, I could stop. Mm-hmm. I could, you know upload the footage while i get some other things done yeah you know and be there present with my family um so you know that was definitely that's probably the most recent one in my in my yeah, brain totally. yeah um you know and and you just gotta gotta go with the flow and roll with the punches and it's not always like ideal it's not always perfect but yeah that's that would is what i would say would be the most recent of something totally. something having to give you know you always think life is busy until mm-hmm. you get busier Right. And then realize I did have a lot more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. And coffee. I mean. Oh, so yeah. If I add this life blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you hit on a TV time. That was big for us. You know, not as much Netflix now, not as much basketball or whatever. Pick your sport here, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Totally get that. Um, what do you, I'm curious, like, what do you do when, because you hit on busy too. And I totally get that. Um, what do you do when it just gets like too much? Like, dude, I hold the phone. Like I need to, I need to hit pause. Like how do you recharge yourself? What do you do? What's your support system look like? Sure. Well, we, we have thankfully both of our parents who oh, are nice. incredibly helpful. My dad watches our son most of the day, most mm-hmm. of the week. Um, he's, he's at home. He, he had a, a stroke two years ago. So it was, uh, he's not working, Mm -hmm. but what's great is he's got the motivation of his grandson, his first grandson. So Mm -hmm. he's with him and, and, you know, keeping him active and moving around, you know, and it's like they, they, the two of them have bonded, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, Really cool to see really, really a lot of fun. Um, And my mom as well uh, Mm -hmm. to be able to help with that. And then Amanda's parents, Mm -hmm. super helpful, um, always wanting to watch him. And that, that gives us that break that we need to go do some shopping or mm-hmm. if we want to go out with some friends, we live in New York, right? So going to, I mean, I work in New York city, but sometimes we want to go to New York city too. Like mm-hmm. we have a friend who's a chef at a restaurant city vineyard on pier 26. Like mm-hmm. we, we like to go to his place and enjoy some time with friends. We, we don't get that chance often, but when we do, and we get to leave him, you know, with one of our parents, we know he's with someone we trust, we love um, that, and that he loves so that he gets to bond with them. So that kind of gives us that little bit, that bit of time. Mm -hmm. Um, we, with, with the channel, we 
produce two videos a week. Um, mm. That's the goal. It doesn't always happen, mm. right? Because family has to come before YouTube. Totally. Um, yeah, totally get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and yes, we, we are viewing it as a business, not as YouTube, right? So mm. like I look at it as like, we have a website, we have a brand. This is not just a channel, right? It's not just a YouTube thing. Like we want to build this to establish something for our family to grow. So I want to make sure I'm being consistent and hitting those things, but still, when it comes to needing to take care of my family, needing to be there for my wife, for my kid, um, YouTube and videos and that stuff needs to take a back seat. But then just that means I need to start where I need to work a little harder the next week mm -hmm. um, to get and get the effort out to get those, those videos out. Our goal with the channel is to get a hundred videos in a year. Mm -hmm. We're behind on that right now because mm -hmm. of things, you know, stopping us, but my goal is to still get there. So mm -hmm. as we go and I find weeks where I could get out a couple more videos, uh, besides just Monday and Thursday, we want to get those videos out. So, yeah, it's it's just trying to find that time, trying to enjoy some good coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> get sleep where I can. My job yeah, doesn't yeah. always help me with that because mm. I work a job that could be any time of the day. Mm. Uh, I work in live streaming, but it, you know, the it, the nice part is it's flexible. Yeah, I I love uh, what you said about you know just YouTube taking a backseat because because that perspective is there for me, for you, mm -hmm. um, that's not the case for everybody, right? I mean, some people right. it's like YouTube is life, right? And you know, um, granted, most of those people are, you know, don't have a family yet, um, which is just really exciting for me and you, you know, like we get yeah. to collaborate as fathers and as, you know, individuals, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So high five there, I like yeah. that, that's awesome. What, uh, where do you get that perspective? Like why family first? Why is it so important for you to be present for your son? Um, you live in the empire state. There's the empire state of mind where it's like work, go big, you know, right. big stage lights, Beyonce, Jay-Z, right? So it's like, yeah. um, where do you get that perspective from? Like, you know, what, uh, like, why? Like, why be present for your kids? Um, I don't know. I, I, and I guess there's an obvious answer, right? Like, why not, you know, but right. um, I don't know, maybe speak to that a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, for us, personally, we're, we're both Christians. My wife and I met at the church. That, that's where we met, and that's where we got married, and that's where we're raising our son as, mm -hmm. as believers. And so for us, it's important to, for the family to be united, for me to be there, right? I, as a believer, my goal as a father is to lead my family, right? Mm -hmm. And I need to lead by example mm -hmm. and by word, right? Mm -hmm. by, by how I talk and, mm -hmm. and being there uh, and um, – being present mm -hmm. is very important. It's also important for me to make sure I'm taking care of them, you know, and providing for them as well. Mm -hmm. And we do that together, right? It's, it's, it's a, you know, uh, a unity that we do together, right? It's mm -hmm. not just one-on-one, -on -one, right? It's not just her responsibility to raise him and not me, right? So okay. we both get to do that together, but it's so important for us to be present, to be growing, to be learning, right? So for, mm -hmm. for me to teach him Mm -hmm. um, you know, how to be a man, how, how to, you know, how to follow Christ, right? Mm -hmm. For us, that's, that's the goal. And for me, that's, that's my driving force for everything. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and so, but with that, you know, if, if I believe that, then that's what makes me even more ambitious mm -hmm. because I know, well, Hey, if this doesn't work, God's got me. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, and so I'm content, right. That that's, um, Philippians 4 13 right that I could do all things through Christ right it's not that oh I can be super successful it means like hey I'm content no matter what situation my family's in That's I'll right. strive to get us somewhere further right like That's we right. want to but hey if I don't ever get there I'm content with that because mm -hmm. I'm here with my family and we get to and, and the cool part is we get to do this together mm -hmm. you know like and it's about my family it's not like I'm going out and doing YouTube somewhere like YouTube videos right. like you know, out of nowhere and I'm out of the house all the time. That, that's, that's what I don't want to do. That's what I didn't want to do. Why I, I didn't chose to choose to go down the production route in the film world because mm -hmm. I, I want to be home. I want to mm -hmm. be home with my family. And that's why even in post-production, right, the same kind of thing, it might be just one location instead of, you know, anywhere in the world shooting whatever video, right? And that, that's where I think it kind of get into that whole, like you're saying, like the Beyonce thing, like mm -hmm. where's that, that success or that shiny object that we mm -hmm. want? Um, and man, as a filmmaker in film school, <laughs> there's so much of that. It's like, oh, I want to be the next Spielberg, right? Or, or Lucas, George Lucas, like, like, because everyone thinks that they're going to be that when mm -hmm. they're in there. But the reality is what, what do you lose? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you missing out on? That's right. When you want that stuff, like it's cool. And it's, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that, like wanting that or even going to do it. 
but then it got to come down to like what's important and what are you you know what are you going to miss and i i, I want to be there mm-hmm. like it was cool we were there we were just got to see our son take his first couple steps it was so cool because we were just sitting there both together and like if i was doing something else i, I would have missed that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know and that's something that i could always cherish and then you know you know have to get to share with his future girlfriends or fiance ah, yeah. <laughs> it's like hey his first steps were to a garbage pail <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah that's awesome yeah i love that man yeah just the being present being involved yeah that's um and, and the whole role model thing too right like they'll yeah. do what they see you do and so um, you know, the hope is that if they see that you're present and you're there, you know, they'll do the same thing. So that's, that's cool. And then, um, I just also really love the fact that, um, I mean, this is like something I heard that's unspoken is that, you know, you kind of chose, um, this like path of like energy and like social capital and having life, like pursuing a passion, Mm -hmm. um, over, you know, just having like material wealth or just money. Not like you said, not that that's bad or anything, but, um, I just love that because like that's where I'm at too you know like um, you live in New York I live in the Silicon Valley it's like expensive but it's like who cares you know like what like I have my studio in my garage and I live in a basement apartment that's right. <laughs> we have a one-bedroom basement apartment in you know that's Long right. Island New York you know so <laughs> <laughs> that's where like this is where literally our living room with a crib yeah. and a pack and play and a yeah. diaper pail right there and when we have friends yeah. over that's that's where we really chill and this is where that's I'm recording cool. my live video for the world to see that's right yeah that's awesome i love that i don't know if you have an example or a story of when uh you just had to be flexible and just it was one of those like throw your hands up in the air kind of moments just like i don't know what i'm gonna do about this you know like what can you maybe share a story about that um and uh you know just like the whole like uh spontaneity thing the whole like you know i I just i'm not in control of this you know just the having to be flexible like but February was like the most insane month mm-hmm. because my dad uh, ripped his stomach lining Holy um, moly. from bronchitis mm-hmm. and he coughed in there and ripped his stomach lining. So he had this, he had to go to the hospital for a week. Um, and my dog got vertigo, which looked like he, we were going to have to put him down. So my parents' moly. dog, they live upstairs. So we rent from them. Oh, I see. Um, but uh uh the, he he got vertigo but we didn't know it was vertigo like mm-hmm. it looked like he something happened like his something happened with him and he just kept falling over took him there and it turns out it was vertigo it looked like he was seasick like his mm-hmm. paws were like this and he kept falling because things were his head was spinning oh my god for like four days um and at the same time my grandmother ended up getting sick having a heart attack being in the hospital for a month and passed away like so we started this channel in january started going and then all of that happened in one month but that's like a whole another story like i was like i don't know if i want to get into it <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah that alone is uh that was a crazy hard month and especially trying to do like video work in mm-hmm. there oh man and having the baby and the baby was sick. We were sick. We got like stomach problems like that yeah. month. Like it was just insane. I was so glad once the winter was over because like things started getting better. Well, usually uh, when we're uh, doing something right, that's when it gets tough, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was, it was like, you know, they, it's, it's what they say, right? It's like when the, you don't think things are going to go wrong. It's when mm. they go wrong. Yeah, 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 totally. But we, you know, I mean, we still grew throughout it. We we didn't post for almost a month during that time. I think we got like one or two videos in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was that was hard. So yeah. But yeah, <laughs> here we are now. It's like yeah, here we are. That's all that matters. Going forward. collaborating, moving forward. forward, man. Awesome conversation. So yeah. Hey, Dan, thanks so much for painting that picture and just showing us that it is possible to start a new venture while raising a newborn. And if you're watching this, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm sure Dan would be more than happy to interact with you because he's really active on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because this is where we curate the best practices from new dads all around the world. And this is where we try to inspire you to live the best version of yourself. Keep crushing it and we'll talk soon. We'll have quick tips and how-tos that won't take much of your time. Simple and to-the-point product reviews for when you just want to know what works and stories from us and others who are further along in the journey to learn from experiences and to know that we're not alone in those tiresome, hard moments.